Good afternoon to Ms. Saleha. I am Jin Wen Yan and this is my individual project assignment. To start, this is my company profile, Sea House Model, and my client is Mr. Hall. The proposed drawing plan is for a single story bungalow in Potixan Negeri Sambilan. The area covered will be 15,000 with the last three digits of my ID number, 391 square millimeters. The objectives of this individual project assignment will be mainly on the subject based fundamental approaches and also the skills for life and work. This is the proposed drawing plan. It will have conservative square as per the client's requirement. With living room, bedroom, toilet, dining area, kitchen, garage and also yard. The front side of the house facing north and also the average busy main road with a lane branching out passing the left side of the house. The house may be used as chalet or homestay for small family getaway when Mr. Hall and Mrs. Hall who has both retired, visit their children in Australia or go travelling. The house will be single storey to synonymize with other houses in the area, and also it will stand out with its simple and modern exterior look and design, with extra attention on safety, functional, comfort, environmental and sustainability factors. This is the 2D drawing plan in AutoCAD. There is layout plan, foundation, pad footing, ground floor beam, ground floor slab and also roofing plan. I started drawing in 2D mode with a square of 15,391. The scale of the drawing is 1 to 1. Both exterior and interior wall will be 1 to 5 mm. It's a brick wall with paint finishing. The details and dimensions can be found in the notes. After that, I put in the respective rooms and then created a grid line for them. I also created different layers for different respective functions. The five other plans are duplicated from the layout plan. I pinpoint the locations for the columns and the pad footing. Relevant labelings are added adequately such as the dimension for the beam and also the floor slab, which is a two-way concrete. Lastly, I removed the beam lines and then added the diagonal lines for roofing. In 3D modeling, I used the box, extrude and press pull tool to erect the elements needed. I started with 2D wireframe mode and then proceed to 3D wireframe and lastly to the conceptual. Before exporting to the PDF format, I used the compass to get the best perspective angle. Back to the design concept of the house. For the exterior style, it will be similar to the surrounding modern Malay houses in the neighborhood. As there are a lot of tall trees surrounding the land, gardening for edibles is not feasible in the outdoor Therefore, it is shifted to the indoor with an aquaponic system. The walls will be pearl white, mahogany brown and warm yellow for facade. This facade will be in front of the house for homestay customers to easily spot the house from main road. As the front of the house is facing main road, for noise deflection, extra slab is used to reduce some of the noise. The design of the ventilation or peak holes is slanted and longish vertically to enable maximum light to shine into the garage space. As for the back of the house at the yard or BBQ area, the vent holes will be high up for privacy purpose and ventilation. Looking at the interior design, the house will have a living room, two bedrooms, one master bedroom with own toilet and one bedroom with shared toilet, one open concept kitchen, dining area, semi-open yard for barbecue and one garage. The empty space in the garage or porch will be used for some potted ornamental plants which do not need much sun or rearing fishes for the aquaponics system for planting vegetables indoor. Let's look at the gate and fence. At the entrance, automatic gate with a small gate will be installed to save space. There will be a small metal door at the rear of the house for fire exit or as another access closer to the beach. As for window and door, all windows are full height for maximum natural lighting except for toilet window which will be smaller and up high. All windows are glass windows with a metal frame. All the doors will be ochre brown in color and of wooden material except for the rear metal door. The main entrance door is a two-door timber door and the sliding door for the wardrobe room is thin, lightweight vinyl finishing door. There is a small window next to the entrance door to see who is outside. For the wall and floor finishing, interior walls will be painted with pearl white stained with the exterior, while the floor finishing is white mosaic. 
Garage and yard will retain its original reinforced concrete finishing for low maintenance. As for the toilet door, it will be tiled with white mosaic up to 7 feet high. Using recycled mosaics from Mr. Ho's friend. Looking at the light and air conditioning, for energy saving, the house is designed to have natural lightings as much as possible. Off light colored lighting will be used in shared space and warm white is used for bedrooms. Less chloral fluorocarbon emission and sensor operating air conditioners and fans are selected for the client. As for furniture and fittings, furniture design will be minimal and space saving to maximize space, ideally for guests coming for vacation. As for the walls, both exterior and interior will have the width of 125mm of brick wall with paint finishing. The wall height will be 3500mm. As for column and foundation, columns are at the distance between 3000 to 4000mm of length and width and at the edge of the building outline at the designated area. Load analysis is ignored for this proposal. Column use is square column with dimension of 150mm times 150mm. There are 20 columns in this plan. For the footing, simple concrete pad footing is used with the dimension of 300mm in width times 300mm in length and 300mm in height. The depth of the foundation to the ground floor is 1500mm. For the beams, Size of the reinforced concrete tie beam is 150mm times 300mm in height. The floor slab is a two-way concrete slab with a thickness of 150mm to prevent ground moisture from seeping in. The roof will be flat RC roof for modern style and rainwater harvesting system, which explains the extra water tank above the toilet. For the conclusion, through this individual project assignment, for subject-based fundamental approach, I strengthen my understanding to create lines, dimensions and layers in the drawing and in locating the structural component by practicing drawing. I am also able to select the suitable material for construction and finishing and also explain the logic of utilization. As for skills for life and work, I am able to develop software skill on preparing a drawing. Also, I learned how to prepare proposal for the client. From the assignment, I get to incorporate skills learned in class to render 2D and 3D drawings using AutoCAD software. Also, I learned how to ensure the details of the proposal are clearly laid and also presented via video presentation. All the requirements of the assignment are laid out accordingly while making an effective use of time of management. Hence, all the objectives are achieved. Thank you.